Cindy Alcindor. Cindy Alcindor. What do you do at the Ave Maria School? I am currently a grade K teacher. <laughs> Charlene Fauché Joseph. What grade do you teach at the school? Grade 4 presently. Joy Nolly <laughs> is my name. I teach grade 6. How long have you been teaching? I have been teaching for approximately seven years, mm. um, but I've been at Ave Maria for three. What's it like teaching grade K students? It's actually really fun. I have a bunch of 24 beautiful little girls and every day something new happens. It's like there's never a dull moment with them. So it's really, really, really fun. What's it like being a grade four teacher? Hmm. in today's world? In today's world, it's pressured, I could say that, um, but it's nice being a grade 4 teacher because of the age of the students that you teach. Nice. So you can influence them nicely, get a good balance, and then they're not too old that they don't want to take correction. It's just at the right age where you can, um, I guess, guide them. As a teacher, um, well, you would have been you're familiar with the allowance that you receive every year. Sometimes it comes in August, sometimes it comes in September. The allowance will be increased to 600 extra dollars. Wow. <laughs> so that extra 600 dollars, how do you think it might benefit you and your students? Sometimes you have families who come in and they don't have, um, the children don't have shoes. Mm. So, you know, we try to help out in whatever way that we can. There are students who have basic physiological needs that are not met. So we have students who come to school without breakfast, who don't know where their meal comes from after school. There are students who um, cannot get new uniforms, students who cannot afford to go on field trips. So you, would, so, you as a teacher yes, would actually use you the You would have to use... Um, well, of course, the increase in the allowance makes it more comfortable for, for us to achieve these things because in some cases, we would have to reach beyond the allowance as it was to cater to these, these things. For most teachers, it will go a long way. I know there are teachers who would surpass that limit, but it will go a long way because every year when you come in, you want your class to look a particular way. So it's like, no matter what, any little extra you get, it will go a long way. It definitely benefits the students. You see that you reach certain children with the little manipulators that they use. So for sure, it, it is for the students. The timing is really um, commendable and it will be to the benefit of us because we are able, therefore, to prepare our classes ahead of September. School reopens in September. We used to get in it in, at the end of September and I think that the environment that you introduce the students to at the beginning of September will set the tone for what happens for the rest of the school year. Why is it important? Why is it is important for teachers to sort of not just create the environment in the classrooms but also provide sort of teaching resources. Why is it necessary to do that? So you find with teaching, it's not just about standing in front of a classroom. The kids need the stuff that they can actually hold. And some, with um, technology now, you find there is a lot of um, videos. So some teachers actually purchase devices that they can use in the classroom. And for us to keep a lot of the stock that we get, we need to laminate it. Laminating is very expensive. You need to buy your pouches. And me, I'm going to speak for myself, I do a lot of ordering because you can't get a lot of your stuff down here. There is a place in Miku which actually supplies a lot of teaching supplies, but there is a lot of stuff that you need to order so that helps a lot it goes a long way if you are familiar with the teaching process you would know that teachers have individualized plans and individualized lessons Why is that? so um i guess comfort in how you deliver um a specific topic there are people who have different ideas on the best way best practices for teaching a certain concept so with that um we have our special individual unique plans and unfortunately, sometimes the materials that are um, supplied by the ministry um, do not 
meet these unique plans. So what that um, allowance has allowed is for me in particular, and I think I could speak for other teachers as well, it equips you in being able to get the resources necessary to um, undertake your lesson as you see it, as you plan. How does, what does that signal to you as a teacher that uh, the policymakers have decided, you know something, you guys and teachers need more to deliver a better educational experience to your students? What does that, what does that say to you? Having these persons, these policymakers, um, inject that kind of revenue into developing our education system, I think that it's a, it's a positive step. When you received the news that the allocation would be increased, what was your reaction? I was like, yes, finally. <laughs> <laughs> finally, yes. finally, finally. Uh -huh. I was like, it took them long enough. <laughs> <laughs> about time. It was about time because we, we do put a lot, no matter what, teachers put a lot of their own monies into the, um, the classrooms, getting their stuff organized. So you find with that, it will definitely help the, the, the children. A $600 increase in the one-time allowance to teachers. When you received the news that the allocation would be increased, what was your reaction? How do you feel? It was about time. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. I think that it's a, it's a positive step. It will benefit the kids a lot and it will help the teachers. But for sure, yes, it will definitely help. It is absolutely necessary and I think that the decision to um, keep it and to even increase it is one that is commendable. Our economic policies go beyond revenue generation and are also intended to assist those who justly and deservedly require assistance.